Hi everyone. Today I am going to present a topic called automated washing machine using PIC microcontroller. I have done this project under the guidance of MSG Information Technologies Private Limited. It is presented by myself Kushal. Moving on, table of contents for the topic are Firstly, we look into introduction part and then some definition of embedded system and its components and what are the software used to build this project and we see the specifications and overview of PIC microcontroller and then we look into microcontroller board called PIC Genius and, and its peripheral description of that board and finally we see the project demonstration and sample outputs first part introduction here washing machines are used to reduce human labor and save time and they have an important place in the modern society nowadays we can see various kind of washing machines especially fully automatic ones as they are front runners in the soul which customers want to have fully automatic machines instead of semi-automatics so that's what we are uh, building in this project and in this project we are building a prototype for a simple washing machine using PIC microcontrollers. Before going to the actual topic, let's see about the introduction of embedded system. So what is embedded system? It is any combination of hardware and software which is intended to do a specific task can be called as embedded system. Some of them is mentioned in this figure where systems are used in the manufacturing equipment, domestic appliances, audio visual equipment, gaming consoles, telecommunication equipments, medical devices, where cars and vehicles and motion sensors. So these are some of the most applications of embedded system. Let's coming to components of embedded system. So for only so for any embedded system, microcontroller is the art of it. So microcontroller is the main part of embedded system. Maybe a microcontroller or microprocessor which can be programmed using a software as shown here. Then then it has a various peripherals and various other devices that can be connected to the microcontroller. For example, here we are using actuators it's like motor or dc motor or any other initially we are give some inputs to the actuators but the microcontroller as we know only senses the digital data so we have digital to analog con controller called as DAC do we send uh, contents to actuators and then we have sensors here where here basically devices which are used to give input and microcontroller basically sensors maybe actuators uh, sorry analog or uh, digital when it's analog sensors then we have adc for microcontroller where adc is analog to digital con converter also we have human interface here and uh, diagnostic port and fpga and as as ic kits and also memory units which can be interfaced with a microcontroller where here whole part is connected to the power supply maintaining a efficient power supply is also important in embedded system so this is what called as components of embedded system here we see which microcontroller are using to build a project so here in this project we are using PIC16 F8 77A microcontroller. Basically it's a PIC microcontroller. Let's talk about its specification. It has 40 pins and also it has 5 ports in total named as uh, port A, port B, port C, port D and port E. Where port A has 6 pins, port B has 8 pins, port C has 8 pins port D as 8 pins and port T e as 3 pins and it also supports serial communication for which it has 2 pins transmitter and receiver we can receive data from receiver and transmit data from transmitter 
and it also supports SPI protocol where and we have to place a crystal oscillator ranging from 4 megahertz to 40 megahertz but here we are using frequency about approximately 20 megahertz coming to the software used to build the project where we used a pic genius pic 16 f8 double seven a mc board and mp lab xid and x8 compiler and pixim lab so here are the software used in order to build a washing machine project so this is the programming board so this is the PIC programming board which has PIC 16 F8 double seven a microcontroller here. Here we have 16 into 16 cross 4 and 16 cross 2 LCD display. This is microcontroller is working under the clock frequency of 20 megahertz as I mentioned earlier. It also has various peripherals such as LEDs, digital keypads, uh, tactile switches buzzer fan etc maybe look into peripherals which are used in our project further slides moving on first peripheral is led the light emitting diode here you can see long side is called as anode and shorter length is called as cathode where leds is an external device connected to microcontroller port where it is in interface between the controller and external peripheral it is based on the controller architecture you will have n number of ports for the schematic we come to know that leds are connected to port b and port t in this board next peripheral coming to tactile switch as digital keypads these small size switches are placed on Pixim board and and are also used to close an electric switch circuit when button is pressed by or any other person when button is pressed it turns on the switches and when button is released it turns off the switches and tactile switch is also used to switch whose operation is resistible by such so this is the basic principle of tactile switch here so here it is connected to port B of PIC microcontroller. Next, CLCD. It is also known as character liquid crystal display. So as you see in the figure, this is a CLCD. It has VSS which is connected to ground and it also has VCC which is connected to 5 volt supply and VEE is connected to potential meters so that uh, we can control the constraint of this LCD then we have register selective pin and read or write enable pins and then we have eight data pins from D0 to D7 and two LEDs which are connected to plus 5 volt and ground in Pixim lab there are two types of display where 16 cross 2 display and 16 cross 4 display so we are here we are using 16 cross 4 display it is the display that all the characteristics and some special characters also can be shown or displayed basically it supports two types of communication modes here we use a 4 bit mode uh, where from d4 to d7 and 8 bit mode from D0 to D7 where it transmit the data and then about interrupts an interrupt is a communication process set up in microprocessor or microcontroller in which an internal or external devices requests the processor to stop the processing and fulfill the request and attends the request or it completes the request and comes back to the processor where it was interrupted so this is the basic definition of interrupts to see more about the interrupts it can it can be classified into two types that may be hardware interrupts and software interrupt 
where software may be like a subroutine or a function or a exceptional handling so these are softwares and again hardware is classified into maskable and non maskable basically a kind of interrupts cannot be avoided i mean uh, cannot be surprised we need to attend that interrupt whereas in maskable it can be avoided or suppressed or postponed to the some other devices again maskable is classified into external or internal now next coming to the timers timers is an important application in an embedded system which is default peripheral which maintains the timing of an operation in sync with the system clock or an external clock it has many applications such as measuring time and generating delays etc where we can call timer and counter is a software uh, designed to count the time intervals between the system where the factors are uh, resolution which is also called uh, register width uh, 8 or 16 bit etc tick is referred as the change from one number to another number it may be up counter or down counter and next finally quantum which is depends on the system clock setting is a measure of time which is responsible for the tick scaling may be prescalar or post scalar it may be like uh, 1 is to 1 or 1 is to 8 or etc so now let's look into the project demonstration So this is how our project interface looks like. So here we are using TIC 16 f 877 a microcontroller which is coordinated with the frequency at 20 MHz. Here we are using 16 cross 4 LCD display. See now it's asking us to print E5 to power on from washing machine. We have the uh, RB0 to RB5 switch in order to navigate and give command to the washing machine. So this is the fifth switch which is RB4. When I press the switch, it welcomes my power on the washing machine and providing the washing programs. So these are the steps we can perform on it. So in order to navigate between this, we use fourth switch that is RB3. We have daily clothes and heavy clothes, heavy and you change to heavy, delicate, delicate, wipes, clothes, stain wash, eco cottons, wool lens. Um, bed sheets. And we have a rinse plus dry and only dry wash only so only wash only and aqua store and again daily so these are available in present system let's say I select the daily in order to select I need to long press the switch for that is RB3 see when I press the long press that is RB3 so that it can navigate to next part in our in next part we have water level and we can select any kind of water level and also navigate by using RB3 see now we have auto low low medium level and high and as well as the maximum level let's now we select low water level in order to go to next process we need to long press same switch 
it asks me whether to start or stop let's press switch 5 that is rb4 to start the process see when i press switch 4 switch 5 sorry see the program is already started the program is daily and we have low water level using look here fan is running it's indicate the machine is running and time is displayed here in between this time i would also show in the door opening system let me show show the door opening system if i press the rb0 then that's the command which is used to opening the door as in between washing process then i will get buzzer indicates that please close the door press the this see see it indicating that please close the door it's already in function then switch 6 and also we have switch 6 we can pause the process and switch 5 we can start again once the washing machine is completed buzzer is beeps and messages is displayed on the lcd that we can remove the cloths from the washing machine see now see buzzer beeps we can remove the cloths from the washing machine so this is the basic working of the washing machine yeah then coming back to the presentation these are the sample outputs which are taken screenshot of it i hope you get an idea how to build a project thank you and i would also thank msg for giving me a nice opportunity to present this topic and also thank for making me to do the project with helping me in throughout the project thank you all